friends, I have another Trader Joe's haul with you guys. This is just a, a pretty small one, and then I have my Danica in the background, so you might hear her. So Trader Joe's is having their winter, winter holidays items out already, and this is one of our most favorite um, holiday treat. This is the Cocoa Drizzled Kettle Corn. I think it's like $1.99. Amazing popcorn with just a drizzle of, um, perfect drizzle of chocolate. I got that. And then I got, and then I got this one, which is the Pumpkin uh, Cranberry Crisp Crackers. A crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheese, dips, and spreads. And then the reason I got this one was because of um, this particular cheese. And this one is the Cranberry, is it Chevre? Fresh goat cheese with a... Uh, with cranberries um, coating, really good. Got that speci uh, specifically for the for the crackers. And then I've got um, another one of this mini um, sourdough bowl, and this is just 99 cents. I bought this last time. I bought this last time for our uh, our spinach uh, dip recipe, and then I have been making it also for the kids as a. Um, that's a grilled cheese, so I just cut it in uh, small slices, and then all I do is just use up. Uh, this is our favorite cheese to use um, in the house, and because this just melts so easily and so evenly, so that's perfect for the the grilled cheese for that. And then they had this one, so I got this one because I have been toasting my bread, and then putting um, avocado and then um, one egg, fried egg on top with salt and pepper. So this is also good. Uh, this is good for that, but it's also good to make as um, French toast in the morning. So I'll cut up like nice thick slices. I'll have my French toast batter the night before, so it marinates in, in the fridge, and it's so perfect um, the next or the following morning because all the flavors have infused into the mix of the. I put just the eggs, milk, vanilla, and then. Um, and then cinnamon. So then you just mix all that together. You put it into a little Tupperware that has a cover. Place it in your fridge and then use it the next morning. And it tastes a lot better um, the morning uh, the morning after when you marinate it for a while. Okay, I got a couple of bananas. And I'm like, I don't know why I just chose to have two bananas. I still have a couple of bananas here. But I don't know why I just picked out two. Um, I think it's because they're all like the same. So they're almost right. Over here, when our bananas are like really ripe, we just turn it into banana bread, or else I'll peel it, and then I will put it into um, Ziploc bags, double Ziploc bags, and place it into the freezer. That adds as an addition for uh, my smoothies. And I'm sorry, you guys can hear Danica, my three-year-old, in the background. Okay, so got that. Bye, bye, baby. And then I got these. These were $3.99, which is the um satsumas and i love satsumas they're just one of my uh, favorite orange tangerine mandarin combination really good so you can never go wrong with that and then these avocado bags were four count for i think 3.99 they're all still hard so it's going to take a few days to um to let it soften but like i said i use this for the sandwiches i use this as a dessert filipinos have Avocados more as a dessert compared to the Spanish or Mexican dishes that's used it for um, like more savory. So like for guacamoles and um, salsas and that, that's what they use it for. But for us, it's more of the dessert. We, we add cream to it of um, condensed milk or evaporated milk and, and sugar. And then we turn that into a, a dessert. So I'll have some for my bread and toast. Danielle will have some by itself also with bread and toast. And then I'll have one with um, as a dessert. And then I make ice candy. So if you guys are Filipinos, then you know what ice candy is. Um, if you guys want a recipe for that, I can definitely share, but I have those ice candy bags um, that I can um, get those, <laughs> make those for. Okay, so this one, I think this was $2.29, zucchini squash. I like this, and honestly, I just eat this plain. So what I do is um, I'll wash it, I'll, I'll slice it, and then I have a saute pan that has um, like a little bit of oil, olive oil and butter mixed together. I'll add that in there and it's just a quick saute 
I'll have my tomatoes and then that's it. That's a quick lunch for me. I'll put that over rice or I'll put that over pasta and that's so simple and that's just how I like it. Okay. And then let's go over here to just get these out of the way. You guys know I buy my not so good for you foods over at Trader Joe's because my family loves it. This is our this is our go-to meal. The reason I buy this is one, it's quick and easy, it's flavorful and it's affordable. Okay. Japanese style fried rice. Danielle can cook this by herself. She's 15. She'll cook it for the family sometimes or just for her and her siblings. But I always have um, Costco chicken, the rotisserie chicken that you buy for $4.99. I'll either just keep it in the refrigerator for a few days or I will go ahead and pre-shred it. <laughs> Take out, separate the white meat and the dark meat and then the carcass. The carcass I'll leave in the freezer until I'm ready to, make, to turn it into my own uh, chicken broth. But then the white meat or dark meat that they can use um, to flavor their, their meals like this. So Danielle will cook this up and then add on the chicken to that. So then that's one um, meal for them already that's, um, that's not so much as healthy but it's already got the protein in there um, and stuff. So easy peasy. Chicken, Mandarin chicken, this is our go-to um, Mandarin chicken. I could get it over at Panda Express and spend three or four times more. This to us tastes um, almost the same. We drizzle it with the uh, sriracha over rice, perfect meal. Go-to cheese, like I said, the Munster. We use this for our deli sandwiches, our, our grilled cheese. Kids love that. And then... I always have to have this. This is like $2.99. Hold, I think it's called the Hold the Cone. There's eight pieces in here and they're a perfect size when you have the little ones, especially little Danica. She's three and sometimes we give her treats. The cone size is really that, that small. And it's perfect for them, perfect for their little hands and perfect for the kids when they can just get a little, a little snack after dinner. I bought another pie crust, so I bought this last Trader Joe's haul that I showed you guys it's just $3.99 I used up my my pie crust because so I'm gonna show you guys another apple I have an apple tree and these are apples for my apple tree I don't know what variety apples um, I have on my apple tree but I'm ready to make another apple pie with these I don't want them to go bad so I'm gonna peel this all up and then it's gonna go into my apple pie I just add sugar cinnamon and cornstarch onto that and then it's a perfect um perfect uh homemade treat for for the family of course i gotta have my butter butter is so cheap over at trader go trader joe's i shared that with you guys already i buy both the salted and unsalted and they're both i think just 2.99 so i really stock up on my butters and sometimes even the butters i put into the freezer you can freeze your butters i believe up to six months um, put them there and then when right before when you're ready to use it just take it out put it into your refrigerator it'll thaw out kids and hubby love the mozzarella stick um, unfortunately it does not come with the marinara sauce so I always have to make sure that I have some marinara sauce um, into the pantry and once also a quick trick once I open up the marinara jar and you know the, the jars are like this the same size and if I'm not using it for spaghetti or any other pastas then I add it and I put it into my little containers so I separate it and then that way when they're having this they can just take out a container microwave it or uh, pop it into like a little um, saucepan and then warm it up and then what they do with that I don't have it with me here but they add shredded cheese onto it so it's more cheesy it's really good this one is for our spaghetti the, um, the kids, especially Jonathan, he's now 17 and Danielle's 15. They, I make them make dinner sometimes and that's why it's easy for me to have these because it's something that they can easily make for the family when we're not home and then I just tell them to set the timer on the microwave to make sure that they never leave the kitchen when they're cooking. But then this way that they don't have to worry about really grounding up the meat. This one is already uh, fully cooked. They'll boil the, the noodles, add on the the sauce and then add this on and then um, that's enough for them and they'll, they really like that when they're cooking up their own meal. And over here we have our mac and cheese, our go-to mac and cheese and the, the regular one and this one the mac and cheese pepperoni and then this one is the, um, the hatch chili and then 
um, hubby packs these for lunch. Danielle really liked the butter, I think it was the butternut squash mac and cheese, but they only had that during the fall season. That's the thing with Trader Joe's, it's like, like these. Things that they only have for the season, once the season ends, then they stop um, They stop selling it and then we, we tend to miss it. Like this one also. This only comes out during the late fall to the winter season. This is the this cranberry flavored uh, walks into a bar cereal bar. So we like this compared to the other flavors. This is one of our favorites. And I think this was just two something, two twenty nine. And of course, if you guys watch me, we have to get this because hubby likes to eat this for his breakfast. And I got a couple new items. So my new items are to show you. I think this is the new item to show you guys. So I've had the bigger version of this. I don't know if it's the same brand, but I know I've had it with the, um, the cranberry. So hoping to try that out and really like it. This one I've had before, but I don't know if I showed it to you uh, recently. So this is mango chunks. What I do, I still make um, smoothies and, and such for the kids. But what I have been doing is that when I have bananas like this and strawberries, especially when I buy the big package of strawberries at Costco and when they're starting to overripe, so I, I rewash it and then I take out the leaf part and then I cut it in half or three parts because sometimes the strawberries at Costco are huge. I'll put it in plastic bags like this, pre-cut, um, pre pre-chunk. And then I'll freeze it along with my bananas and um, pineapple. I also buy my fresh pineapple at Costco. Wait for it to really get ripened, peel it, and then cut it um, in chunks and put it into the freezer so that I always have the fruits to make smoothies. And then also, I don't know if I made a video here a while, years ago, but I buy the, um, the really big um, container of Greek yogurt at Costco. And then what I do is that I get a dollop of it onto a cookie sheet. I'll put it into the freezer. So then I have like little sizes like these of yogurt. Once you put it into the freezer, then you can put it into your bag and they will not stick together because they've already been free, free frozen before putting it into like a Ziploc bag. And then when I make my yogurt, I just grab a couple of those um, dollops of Greek yogurt from the freezer whatever fruits I have into the freezer and then make my uh, my make my smoothie and if you guys are asking well why you have to do all that work for your Greek yogurt because I do buy my Greek yogurt at Costco and it's such a big container that I can't go through it all and just um, shelf life as far as it being into the refrigerator so to save money and then to 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 make it useful, I do put it into the freezer for my smoothies. Okay, uh, cocoa almond uh, spread, I told you guys how much we have loved this. So we have stopped buying Nutella. Although Nutella tastes so good, they're actually kind of bad for you because of all the stuff in there and they put the palm oil in there. But no matter what, we still use um, Nutella because there are other things we could consume that's, that's bad for us. So we just try to limit ourselves and we try to to balance like these are bad for you yes it's processed food but when you have this and you have that and you have this and it's just a little bit of, of balancing that's all we have to do as parents or you know we can't eat super healthy I really can't not for my family not the way we live but I can teach my kids how to balance it and that's all I'm trying to show you guys with my with my Trader Joe's so got that for the smoothie really really good check that out Alfredo sauce this is for my pasta um, I like to have that um, handy because the kids, the girls, the girls don't like to pack um, deli meat sandwiches. So I make them pasta the night before and then I'll put it into their um, bento boxes and then that's what they bring for lunch. And then this one is organic um, reduced sugar strawberry preserve. Of course, this is good for just uh, peanut butter and jelly, which the kids love um, on toast, on bagels. And um, oh, bagels or toast. If you spread your your toast or your bagel with cream cheese, add this on top, so good. Okay, but the other reason that I wanted to make this is because I'm making a strawberry guava filling for my macarons. So I wanted to um get some of this so that I have I have that to flavor my macarons. And this one is new. I always show you guys new items from Trader Joe's. So this one is the sweet potato and marshmallow pixie pie mix. So I've never 
I've never heard of a pixie pie, but I have heard of a sweet potato pie that's really, really popular, more like in the east or south. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and try this. I think this was like three bucks. I can have Jonathan or Danielle make this. Super easy, just calls for three tablespoons of cold water, one egg, four tablespoons of melted butter, and then half to one pouch of the marshmallow spread, which is included, and then use the whole, use the whole pouch for maximum sweetness. Hmm. And then for crust, it's just four tablespoons of butter. Super simple ingredients to follow for the kids. And then this is our go-to crackers, no longer the, um, the Ritz crackers. I find that the Ritz crackers are more um, salty, so I, I like to, um, to switch to this now. So this is really um, a nice go-to crackers to have around for little Danica to have as a snack. Okay, I think my last item is another new... Oh, no. So let's talk about these two first. These were just $1.99. This is the umami stir in paste and condiment. So this is basically, mm, it says the pleasant savory taste. This is basically um, the taste of Asian. I don't know how else to describe it. But when you, when you get your broth, um, like you order like a Korean noodle soup or a Japanese udon soup or, or what have you, um, you just add just a little bit of this after your 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 broth is done after the after you've added in the flavor because this really smells like Asian like an Asian kitchen with all the spices so I recommend just adding it after known in Japan as the fifth taste umami paste adds that special I don't know with a simple squeeze of the two so just added flavor for your um soup because now that it's really cold we had two snow days already um i've been making a lot of broth of udons and different kinds of noodles and then you just add in your whatever vegetables that you have and whatever meat like co the costco rotisserie chicken i just peel that off and then just put it in there and then you got meat into your broth already but then you add this in there and then it gives it that asian flavoring and then I got the ginger stir in paste for easy access to the delicious root because some of my recipes, especially when it, it concerns the broth, calls for ginger and sometimes I've used up my ginger and I didn't go get my ginger because I always just tend to get my, gin my ginger over at H Mart which is a Korean Asian market. So I like to have this into the fridge so that it's easy, handy when I need it. Last one. And this one is a new item for me. This is the Trader Joe's Sipping Chocolate, inspired by Euro European tradition. I've never had this, but I, now that it's cold, now that we're into the winter season here in Seattle, it gets really, really cold. It's like 40 degrees out today. I like to, to drink my coffee, but sometimes coffee is just too much for me. And I want still like a hot beverage, but not the tea. And that's why I go for like the spice chai um, latte that I get at Trader Joe's as well. But sometimes I do want just like a hot chocolate, but I don't want the kids hot chocolate. I want more of a thick hot chocolate, like, a, like an adult drink of like heavy, heavy on the dark chocolate or bitter, bittersweet chocolate. So I'm hoping that this, this is the taste because I do prefer European chocolates compared to American chocolate. So this one says... Sipping chocolate, not quite a hot cocoa, hardly chocolate milk, oh no. This is a chocolate experience meant to be sipped and savored, a European delight. One taste of our Trader Joe's sipping chocolate and you may feel like you've been whisked away to a sidewalk bistro in Rome or Barcelona. So, just that itself. I'm like, okay, I gotta give it a try. I think it was $3.99, so I can't wait to try that. And that's it, friends. I think I showed you all my little stuff from Trader Joe's. So, as always, thank you guys for visiting me here at um, A Simply Simple Life. And thank you for watching my hauls with uh, Trader Joe's. Have yourself an amazing week ahead. Mahalo!